say to me, Andrew, what is industrial engineering? Well, I got the answer for you right here. Wikipedia defines industrial engineering as a branch of engineering that deals with the optimization of complex processes or systems. Pretty much efficiency. Now, efficiency is the ability to do things well um, without wasting things like time, materials, energy, effort, money. Yeah, just, just don't want to waste. That is the key to success for industrial engineers to get their job done well. One thing that really got the ball rolling for industrial engineers back in the 1700s was the invention of interchangeable parts. Now, it wasn't an invention because it's been, it was around since the Romans, but uh, this man, Eli Whitney, made it a lot more popular, and he used it in rifles and his cotton gin that he made. Now, interchangeable parts is very important for industrial engineering because um, before this, when something broke, you had to buy an entirely new system. But now, or when Eli Whitney made the invention, um, one could replace a broken piece or part with another part that was made that looks just like it, which is very helpful in today's system of another big invention that brought industrial engineering into the modern world is this the creation of the assembly line. Now the assembly line was made before my man Henry Ford Henry Ford utilized it but he is accredited with the invention. He gets the most fame for it because he utilized it in his making of the Model T. Henry Ford uh, with his Model T, one thing, the thing that revolutionized his assembly line was he added the conveyor belt, which goes on and on and on, which moves product from one guy to the next guy to the next guy, all doing certain tasks to complete a goal. And um, it went from creating a car, it took 12 and a half hours. When Henry Ford invoked his system, it only took 93 minutes. And they were cranking these off the aisle, and they made a ton of them, and it became the most sold car ever for a while. For those of you who don't know what a seminar looks like, it looks like this. The product goes from this person, and passes on to this person, Pass on to that person and it continually goes on in the conveyor belt. And each person has a specific task to do to each product as it goes by them. So with the assembly line, factory owners realized that they could boost production even more than what they had. So they brought in specialists or industrial engineers to uh, boost production through trial and error or science and that brings us into the modern age of industrial engineering. One place that needs management and efficiency the most is the US Postal Service. Uh, they need industrial engineers, a lot of them at each plant to make sure all the conveyor belts go well and uh, they, the industrial engineers um, are trying to make the employees life better and uh, to prevent problems before they start it. This is a United States Postal Service mail plant, and as you can see from the conveyor belts going leading into the bins in the front and the factory in the back, there's a lot of industrial engineering and management that can go on here, so everything can run efficiently. All companies use industrial engineers, but one company in particular that does is Hershey. Great company. They make our favorite chocolate bars, and. Uh, they use industrial engineers to optimize the production of chocolate bars, the Hershey Kishes, hot cocoa, and uh, one specific case is uh, in their almond chocolate bars. They realized that there was getting a uneven amount of almonds in each chocolate bar, and the consumer didn't like that, so they rethought their machines and. Uh, did a lot of math and they solved the problem and now the consumer's happy the companies make more money because of it 
And that is the job of industrial engineers. So you might ask, what other products has industrial engineering affected? Well, pretty much everything. Remotes. Stuffed animals. His name is Fiesta. He likes to party. Video games. Gatorades. Popcorn. Basketball hoops. Cups. Cleaning supplies. Ovens. So, do you think you have what it takes to optimize the world's production line and be an industrial engineer? Comment.